Hello, I'm Dan Toppy and welcome to another episode of Going For Gold, the series where I give you the quickest and easiest ways to earn the golden camo on your weapons in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 multiplayer. Today we're going to be covering one of the final SMGs and that is the Razorback SMG. Of all of the SMGs in the game, this is the one that performs the best at long and medium ranges. You can actually outgun some of the assault rifles in the game by using the Razorback as long as you have the right attachments and perks on it. But first, if you haven't seen one of these videos before, what I do as I go through the best class you need to be using to get your first 9 camos and with the Razorback to do that you need to get 100 headshots. And then I move on and talk about how you need to change your class and your player style to better suit the final 5 challenge camos. So getting straight into it, the class you want to be using if you want to get those first 100 headshots as fast as possible is the Razorback with the Reflex Red Dot Sight, a foregrip, a quick draw grip and the long barrel attachment. And then for perks it's a bit different from what I normally take. In perk 1 I nearly always take Afterburner just so I get that faster movement ability recharge. But instead I've got rid of that and I don't have anything in perk slot 1. This is so that I can take 1 in perk slot 2 and 2 in perk slot 3. And those perks are Fast Hands in perk 2 and in perk 3 I've got the usual Dead Silence and Awareness. You're probably thinking that's a bit weird because it is an SMG, you want to play in quite fast but you want to be using your jumps and your slides to move across the map quickly. But this doesn't really work out like an SMG normally does. You don't want to be playing close with this gun, especially with the attachments that I've said. Because the rate of fire and the damage just isn't good for close range. You want to be playing at medium to long range with this gun, even though it is an SMG. It does seem weird, that's the sort of range you want to be using an assault rifle with. But with this gun, you do want to be playing in those longer ranges. So instead, I've got rid of that because you don't really want to be using your jumps all that much. You want to be playing quite statically, aiming down sight and pre-firing for the enemies. So that's where the fast hands attachment comes in for aiming down sight speed. And in your perk 3 perks, that's just so you can hear your enemies when they're coming up behind you because you will be playing quite far back. And they're dead silent, so the enemies won't hear you when you're quite close to them. Because that's when you don't want to be fighting an enemy with this gun because it won't perform as well as another SMG or even some of your saw rifles would in close range. Just because of the rate of fire on it. The attachments, I took the reflex red dot sight because it is a bit of a clearer sight than the elo sight and because you do want to play in at those longer ranges you want a nice clear sight where you can easily see the heads of the enemies. And then the two grips just help you to minimise your recoil and also get your aim up faster. Both of these grips work really well with fast hands just because it means you can aim down slightly faster which means that you're more accurate and you're more likely to hit a lot of headshots. And I took a long barrel because it does have good range in it but it is still an SMG so you want a little bit of a boost on it just so that you can play further back because that long barrel will just help you to get more damage out on your enemies at further distances by increasing the effective range of your bullets which is going to make it handle a lot more like an assault rifle would and if you are going to play it how I suggest you should then you will need the extra range on the weapon just so you can kill a lot faster and get easier headshots at long range. So once you've used that class and you've got your first 100 headshots with the Razorback you'll then move on to your final 5 challenge camos and the first one you need to complete is Ardent. For Ardent you don't actually need to change anything to your playstyle or your class if you're playing how I just talked about because for Ardent you need to get 10 long shot medals. So I'd say just continue playing how you were with the exact same class, exact same playstyle but it will be quite a bit easier than when you have to get long shots with the assault rifle because as it is in the SMG class, it has a lower range that you need to get the kill at for it to count as a long shot. So with the Razorback, it's quite easy to get these long shot medals. You'll probably have got quite a lot of them whilst you were playing to get your headshots. So just continue playing. You should be able to get them in about one or two games. And the next challenge camo you need to complete is called Burnt. And for Burnt, you need to get 50 kills with the Razorback without any attachments or optics equipped. So just take off all your attachments and optics, add some more perks and if you want, and then just grind out those kills until you earn them all. After that, you move on to Bliss. And for Bliss, it's the opposite to Burnt. You need to get 50 kills with five attachments and an optic equipped. So you need to get rid of all of your perks and any equipment you might have put on from your last challenge and put as many attachments and optics on your gun as you can. What I'd recommend is use the same class you were using before but then put on two more attachments and the ones that I chose were extended mags and rapid fire. I took these two because it means it increases your rate of fire meaning you can get more damage out in a short amount of time but the extended mags count as that so you don't run out of bullets too quickly. And then you have the final two challenge camos which are battle and chameleon and for battle you need to get five double kills and for chameleon you need to get five bloodthirst kills. Battle you probably earned whilst you were doing your other challenges and chameleon you might have got a few of them so just keep grinding out on that same class that I said at the start. Just use that class until you've earned them all and once you've got those bloodthirst medals then you will have earned the golden camo on the Razorback SMG. So I hope this video has helped you to earn the golden camo on the Razorback SMG. If it has been helpful please make sure you leave me a like, subscribe to see more, I've got the full playlist, link will be in the description down below. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.